Hey you guys, so my journey with Money Greek Oil. So this is back in 2019 after a corrective cut I received from my stylist. This is when I first started using Fenugreek Greek Oil. This was last year, 2020. Look at the difference um, with me blowing out my hair and really taking care of my hair. And next up are clips of my hair while it's wet and also in the shower. Now, I've been using fenugreek oil consistently, y'all, now since 2019, as I stated. And my hair is very, very healthy now. The clips I'll show you coming up is how I use it along with my leave-in conditioner. This video, I'm going to be moisturizing my hair with a cheap old moisturizer and fenugreek oil, okay, to seal in the moisture. Now, I washed my hair yesterday, and this is what I do, y'all. I put a little light leave-in. I don't even know what I used yesterday. What did I use? Um, she, that shall not be named on my channel. And um, just a little bit, okay. So now I'm gonna be using the olive oil moisturizing hair milk. I don't know if I've officially reviewed this product with castor oil. This is a great affordable product that you could buy at your local store. And this product is only, I got it on clearance. It was on clearance. You see that girl, less than $2. Yeah, so we have some fenugreek oil here. This is a new batch of fenugreek oil. I do have a separate video on how I make my fenugreek oil. Please check that out. Now, I've been using this now for two years and I definitely, definitely see a difference in the overall health of my hair. Um, my hair is wide as hell, y'all. So it literally, when I blow it out, it could be this, this wide. So yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and take down We'll do a front section. Yeah, I'm stepping on my tippy toes because your girl is, yeah, we already know. So, my hair is kind of damp at the root, but we're gonna lightly spray it, okay? All right? And then I'm going to split that up in a smaller section, pin it up. Yeah, it's, 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 look, I know that some of y'all complain about having puffy ends. Look at my ends. Puffy. Puffy. I'm going to take a good size amount of the leave-in. And we're going to work it in. Girl, ignore it. Ignore it. All right. And then I'm going to take the oil. I'm gonna dip my hand in there, girl. I have an applicator drawer I can transfer it to, which I will more than likely do. Yeah, fenugreek oil has a maple syrup type of scent to it. Look at that. Now all I do at this point is twist my hair up in these medium to large size twist and um honey i rarely style my hair i'm going to clip my hair up in these what do you call them hair clips sometimes i use the big bobby pins to just do a little you know style and then i put on i, I you know I put on a hair a hair scarf, okay? All right, y'all. Let's keep going. I'm gonna get off my tippy toes. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys so just continuing to add the fenugreek oil to seal in the moisture so one thing i do want to say is that not only do i use fenugreek oil as a leave-in oil but i sometimes use it as part of my pre-poo routine 
Um, sometimes I add it to my deep conditioner. But I also want to make sure that I point this out. It's not just the products, you guys. You have to have a healthy regimen overall. That includes not only moisturizing your hair, but also cleansing your scalp, incorporating protective style, a low manipulation. I'm really big on that. And ensuring that your ends are trimmed. Now, I am due for, look at those ends, girl. I am due for a proper trim here. Dusting your hair, in my opinion, would not get rid of all of those scraggly ends. It just helps. But I need a proper trim from a stylist. Now, my stylist is up in Canada right now, but I'm going to find someone, hopefully locally, who can really take care of my ends. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue here to moisturize my hair. But that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to let the rest of these clips play out. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye.